welcome back to my channel if you hear things in the background it's just my new dog charlie we got a little dog named charlie he's so cute anyways um today i'm going to be doing another painting video i've been painting a lot i am going to be opening well reopening up an etsy shop i used to paint and draw it wasn't really like painting with acrylics but i used to do colored pencil watercolor like marker all types of like drawings and then i would get them printed like onto like cardstock and then i would sell them so i did have an etsy shop like a couple years ago and it was so fun i just i'm back at it again and i want to reopen up my etsy shop so i've been painting a lot so that I have a lot of things that I can list on the shop. So if you care to see what paintings I might be selling soon, I will link my Etsy shop in the description, even though nothing is gonna be listed on there right now. But if you're watching this video like later, not right as I post it, there might be stuff on it, whatever, whatever. Either way, I'm gonna list it in the description. Regardless, here's the painting that I'm gonna be doing today right here on the screen. And if you wanna see how I did that painting, then keep on watching. Okay, so to start, oh, it's like, do I wanna use a whole canvas for that? Basically, okay, let me just let you in on this secret. This is what I was gonna do. I was going to paint the background right now and then be like, oh, while that's drying, I actually have another one. But I really only wanna do one. <laughs> I don't wanna waste one of these canvases um, doing the same exact thing. So I think I'm just gonna pick up where I left off, which is here. So you're probably not gonna see me. Yeah, you're not. You're not gonna see me painting this background. You're just gonna see me painting starting from here. So basically this is the background that we're using. It is a like sunset situation. It looks way more blended in person than it does on camera. Let me see if I can move the camera and try to get a better shot. All right, so this is the sunset situation that we are working with. Cute. Okay, first I'm going to squeeze out a little bit of white paint. This is just acrylic titanium white and I'm just gonna squeeze out a little bit in my paper, just like that. And now I gotta find a brush because I was washing all my brushes and now I gotta find one. We're probably gonna use this guy right here. I definitely need an easel, that is for sure. But yeah, I'm just gonna hold it and we'll just do that. Anyways, this is my sunset. On camera, it's really bothering me how it looks like super splotchy. Like it literally looks like a stripe of orange, a stripe of pink, a stripe of pink, a stripe of pink. It's not like that. It's really blended in person. I don't know why. See how it literally just looks like a straight stripe of pink? It doesn't look like that in person. Um, and that is really bothering me. But I've never actually like talked while doing a painting before. I've literally only ever painted while listening to music or like watching videos and stuff. All right, so right now I am just... Right now I am just doing the clouds, just white paint and a brush. And when I do clouds, I like to do it as, like I like to make them look as airy as possible. Like I want them to be like kind of messy and I want it to like be like a little bit more gradient. It's really hard to do this while talking. I might end up just putting music on and doing this with a time lapse. Okay, so my mom FaceTimed me and I was finishing while we were FaceTiming, but I did a lot of the clouds. Just gonna probably finish up touching up the clouds like a little bit after they dry a little. But yeah, this is kind of what I came up with. I need something here. I'm like noticing as I'm looking through the camera. But yeah, what I like to do is I always like to just go back and add like extra paint at the tip of the cloud to give it like a little bit more like depth I guess and then yeah now I'm gonna get started on the drips and I don't do any clouds up there because it's gonna get covered anyway like I was saying clouds are done I just need to touch up these a little bit more they just need a little bit of like just a little bit more something oh shit my camera's gonna die they just had a little bit more of just like something they look too like artificial I guess my camera's gonna die, I'm literally doing this so fast. I'm gonna add another layer of clouds behind here. I think that is what this was missing. 
it helps actually for me to look in the camera and kind of watch as I go. All right, so just like to add a little bit of like barely there clouds in the background. And I'm going to let this dry for a minute, charge my camera for two seconds, and then we'll do the drip. What I've been doing for um, these like dripping on cloud paintings, because I've been doing a lot of them, because I'm gonna sell them on Etsy and I need to have more than one, obviously. So what I've been doing for these ones is pouring on like more than one color onto the drip part and then letting more than one color drip down so they kind of like melt together and get like kind of like stripey. It's really, I'm really liking that instead of just doing like one color drip. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna pick out my colors right now. So this is the base. I think I'm going to do a blue since the background of this one is like super pink and orange. I wanna do more like blues and greens. Green, lighter green. We'll do yellow, dark blue. And we will do turquoise we will do periwinkle and then i want to do a purple dark purple which i didn't even know i had lighter purple and i want to do one more purple what the heck i know i have purple paint but i can't find it i want to use this light blue also wait i know that i have purple paint the problem is, is you can't i can always mix colors on a palette to make whatever color to actually like paint but to do drips you can't whatever it's possible they're outside so i'm just going to do a light pink and then two other blues i don't know we'll see what happens these are the colors that we're working with just like blues greens yellow pink whatever and then this is the canvas so let me charge my camera and then we'll be back to finish the drips on this i don't know why i just like can't get it together today i should have charged my camera and found the tripod before i started so who knows if this video is even going to make it to the internet i have no idea basically i'm just going to take different color paints and just go for it on here and I just hope for the best and see what happens you know I'm gonna use this dark purple that I literally didn't even know that I had I gotta go back to Michael's and the fuck I gotta go back to Michael's and get more paints because I'm one starting to run out of the colors that I already have and two I'm starting to want more colors because I didn't get enough purples I guess I thought I had like better purple but I guess I didn't Problem is too, you gotta keep the canvas straight, otherwise the drips are gonna get a little weighty. This is my favorite color and I've been using it so much in every painting, it's called Apricot and I 100% need to go get like five more of these because I've noticed that I put it in every single painting that I've been doing. It's like the perfect color for like what I'm going for always. I. It could not be better. This is like the best color for me. It's just like an orangey yellow, but it just, it adds something to my paintings that I don't know how to explain it, but it just does. I have these really cool metallic-y colors that I'm gonna use. I'm having like a hard time like filming and painting. It's like kind of making me a little bit nervous and I'm not doing as good as I would like to, sorry. But it definitely is hard to like paint and film and like talk and I guess I don't really have to talk. I don't know. Let me let me know what is more interesting for you people to watch. Not that I get a lot of views, but if you are watching this, let me know because but like let me know like is it better for me to talk or just to fucking film it and like put music over it and call it a day? Like I don't know. There we go. Flash is so much better. Perfect. All right. So that's like the longest drip right now. And I need more things to drip that far down. So I'm going to go in and add something right here. And hopefully this will. Yep. There we go. And yeah, then I just wait and I'll cut them off. I'll like stop it at some point. As in, I will put the painting down and not have it be standing up so that they can't drip anymore. <laughs> I don't know why I said I'll stop it. Like, what does that even mean? I like when they get like as layery as possible. Like I like when you can see like thin lines on the outside of the different colors like that. I think that looks sickening. All right, so it is the next day. I've already sprayed this down with the varnish. So it's completely done. Um, 
the lighting kind of sucks out here right now because it's like super overcast so we stand up it looks really good i'm really happy with the way it turned out and then i do have another one here so these are all of my paintings that i'm kind of like stocking up to list on my etsy but this was the first one that i did which was like clouds and whatnot with drips and then there's that one so technically somebody could buy both of these and do like a little a little thing in their house you know um yeah so like i said i will list my etsy in the description box and not that anything is going to be listed right away but eventually soon i'm going to probably take pictures today of some of these things so that i can start listing stuff but yeah that's the final project and i hope that you enjoyed this video let me know if you like watching um painting videos and how you found my channel and how you stumbled across this video because youtube analytics doesn't really help me that much and i kind of want to know like where people are coming from so yeah all right guys bye